Well, I reckon it's time for a little update on the Yanmar. This is the SA425, which is the big tire version of the of the SA series. Exactly the same as the 324, 424, except the 425, some of them got the remote package. I know there was a bunch of guys in the States that didn't get that. I happen to have one up here in Canada. And we're just getting ready for winter here. I got this five foot Wilco blower on the back. So this is gonna do duty as, uh, I've never hooked up anything to the PTO on this, so I'm gonna mess around with that today. But one of the things that I wanted to show is when I go to start this thing up, we are at 43 hours. So I'm gonna do the 50 hour service pretty soon. But we're at idle here. I'm gonna turn the key to the left to warm the glow plugs up just a little bit. And then when I start this, check out all the smoke that comes out of this. And then it goes away. So I think that's normal, I guess, for a mechanical diesel injector. But if you guys have an SA, give me your feedback on whether that happens to yours too. I'd be curious to see. I'm just going to pull this out into the opening here and we're going to hook up that PTO and see if we get this blower spinning. Okay, so we got her out here. Got the PTO hooked up. This is the first time I've ever hooked a PTO up on my own on a little tractor like this. Not really sure where to put that chain. That's just a sleeve that goes around the PTO shaft. But uh, everything looks like it's in the place it should be. I'll have to do a little lubricating. But I got the uh, the raised quick hitch hooked up to this. That's proven to be an invaluable addition to the tractor, actually. So let's hop on this thing and see if it'll spin. I did identify one issue that we'll have to rectify before winter. This has a hydraulic chute on it. And this guy is too big for these. So I need to change the coupler size. I'll have to get over to a hydraulic shop. I had the same problem with my grapple. So there's just like... A couple things we got to sort out, but let's fire this puppy up. And then engage the PTO and see if she'll spin. There we go. So that appears to be normal function, uh, with the exception of, I can't move this stupid thing because the hoses are the wrong size, but we'll get that figured out. Looks like we're ready for winter. I also fired up the smaller snow blower that we use at home, but now this is gonna move a fair bit of snow here this winter. So I think we're ready to go. This tractor I'm very happy with. The only quibble I would have about this at all is that little bit of smoke on startup. Otherwise, great traction, um, adequate cap capacity as far as the bucket's concerned. I haven't picked up big logs with the grapple yet. We still got to get that figured out. But everything seems to work fine. I mean, we're at the 50-hour mark-ish here now. It's holding up pretty good. She always starts, but we're ready for some service. We're going to do some lubrication and get everything kind of going the way that it should. But trusty Dusty here has proven to be a good investment. I would highly recommend a Yanmar tractor. They're good value for a dollar when you're comparing them to some of the other brands. I looked at the Kubotas, I looked at the Deers, I looked at TYM. Um, again, I know I said this before, but this right here is a big part of it for me. And uh, I was able to get 0% financing on it in the middle of a global economic shit show. So highly recommend one of these if you're looking. Yanmar makes a fantastic tractor. Just a little tip from one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, GP Outdoors. I'm really trying to make this thing last a lifetime, so working on letting it idle for a while before I shut it off. 
and working on letting it warm up significantly before we start to use it. That'll be more and more important as we get into the winter here.